So hey, speaking of, if you're walking down South Broadway, you will notice the city is ripping things up to make safety improvements for pedestrians and cyclists. Also, if you're walking down South Broadway, watch out for the pole. Here's Steve Steger. Our improvement project is going from 7th Avenue to Center. Broadway is a sea of orange right now as the city works to make it safer, extending the protected bike lane, new traffic signals. We're also doing pedestrian improvements. But with this project appears to be a pedestrian diminishment because one of the new traffic light poles is going to be smack dab in the middle of the sidewalk at Bayot and Broadway. If people are walking, they're not paying attention off their bike. They can crash into it easily. Yeah. Puzzling to people like David and Donald, who told me he just wrapped up using a walker. Light poles dead center of the sidewalk's pretty bad. There's a point where every TV news story deserves a good walk and talk stand up. Though walking and talking a little bit more difficult with this in the way. The city of Denver says there's a reason that's like that. We have a new storm drain going in at the curb. We have a utility line here. We have an irrigation line here and we want to protect the tree and we have another utility here. So what we're doing is we're also avoiding these utilities that are in place. Nancy Kuhn speaks for Denver's Department of Transportation and the engineer who designed this. She says there's stuff in the way and you can't just put this where the old one was. To put in the new one, the old one has to stay where it's at and so we're building around it. The question is, is the new pole in the middle of the sidewalk going to be compliant with the Americans with Disabilities? Disabilities Act. And there is still um, room to walk, so there's a compliant walkway still provided. Five feet to, oh, sneak right past next to the liquor store there. In the end, the city still says improvements like this are going to make the street safer for people both in and outside of cars. So this project will eventually connect that two-way bike lane on Broadway to the Cherry Creek Trail. It's also supposed to enhance pedestrian crossings, make, making people feel a little bit more comfortable as they cross the many lanes of Broadway. Yeah. Just not when they run into that pole. Like so, if you're on, if you're walking down Broadway, yeah. pay attention. Yeah. Um, well, it's a good thing that that sidewalk is always well cleared of snow and ice and that everybody's got the full five. Actually, you know, the guy who owns the liquor store there, he was out sweeping and doing all sorts oh, of stuff. Oh, good for him. He just kind of looked at it and he goes, yeah, I don't know. I don't understand why. I don't know. So okay. Now you know. So the true next viewer OGs, the people who have been with us since like the literal beginning of the show will remember one of my favorite stories that you've ever done was at the very beginning of the show six years ago about the parking meter placed right in front of the of the bench so that when you sat on the bench, you basically had to hold the parking meter like a carousel. It horse was something there was a guy who was sitting there and he was <laughs> straddling the thing. straddling the parking meter. <laughs> and we figured out that the bench came after. Yeah. Was, and then they, then like two days later, they were out sawing the bench. Saw the, so yeah, it's the things in the right of way. I yeah. don't understand it. People got to think. People got to think, or Steve can think for you. Thank you, Steve.